Hello learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today's lesson is about what is Pillai. Pillai is actually a plural word and the singular word is pillars. So if you are talking about one structure, it means that it is pillars and if you are talking about more than one structure, then it will be Pillai. It comes from the Latin word which means hair. So the pili they are actually hollow non-helical filamentous appendages. Hollow means that they are like this and the internal part is hollow or it doesn't contain anything. Non-helical mean that they are straight structure they are not like this. Again then filamentous means that they are small structures like this filaments. And they are appendages. Appendages means that they are like leg. So for the unicellular organisms, they are actually working like the leg. So here in this diagram, you can see this large structure is actually flagella. While these smaller structures or hair like hollow appendages, they are known as pili. They are smaller than flagella. Here you can see the flagella is large while the pili, they are very small. They are actually made up of protein which is known as pilin. So the pilin word comes from the pili. So it is connected so that you can easily remember it. The pili they are normally present in gram negative bacteria. The gram negative bacteria are the bacteria which do not retain the crystal violet stain during the gram straining method. And because of this reason, they are going to appear pink under the microscope. So you can distinguish the gram positive bacteria from the gram negative bacteria. And the gram negative bacteria, they actually contains pili structure. Now, what are the functions of pili? They are not actually involved in the mortality. Mortality means that they are not involved in the movement of the unicellular organisms. They are actually involved in the transfer of plasmid DNA between the bacteria in the process of conjugation. So in the process of conjugation here you can see the two bacteria this is one bacteria and this is second bacteria they both are going to exchange their plasmid DNA not this DNA but the plasmid DNA for this reason the pili of these two bacteria they are going to fuse together to form a connection or a bridge and when the bridge is developed the plasmid DNA or one strand of plasmid DNA is going to move from one bacteria and it will enter into the second bacteria and after that this bridge is going to be dissolved or disappear in this way the two bacteria they are going to exchange their plasmid dna and this process is known as conjugation process pili they also function as attachment of the bacteria to the various surfaces so if they want you to attach to particular surface instead of flagella they are going to use pili Pili are responsible for virulence in the pathogenic strains of many bacteria. Virulence means that they are going to cause the disease. So in a pathogenic bacteria or the bacteria which are going to cause disease, the pili they are responsible for the virulence. So this was all about what is pili.